Wanakam and Salam Masra. My name is Sivabalan Shanmugasundaram. I am the proprietor for Thrive Talent Tank. Uh, Thrive Talent Tank is a Malaysian, by Malaysian for Malaysian company that strives to um, support Malaysian talents across board, be it music or dance. We have been in the business for the last eight years and uh, we have held very many different projects across music and uh, we are we are moving forward with more projects now that the pandemic has been lifted. Um, by profession, I'm actually a pharmacist uh, and uh, I was involved in music from the time I was young. Malaysian Mertagam Network was conceived by Thrive Talent Tank with the support of the wonderful Chandana folks. Now, Chandana is an active body with the government that is in support of arts across Malaysia. And uh, they have been very supportive with Thrive Talent Tank uh, in, the, in our past productions. And they have come forward to help with this project too. The idea of uh, Malaysian Mertagam Network is, as the name suggests, to highlight the Malaysian Mertangam artists of Malaysia. Uh, I was one of the first graduates in, in the 90s to have graduated. And over the last 30 years, the emergence of very many uh, new players in the country uh, showed me that, there, that this art form has actually really taken uh, shape. And I wanted to showcase every single Mertangam artist in the country. But this program, Malaysian Mertangam Network, has gone on to a bigger scape whereby after finishing the Mertangis in the country, we will carry on with the other Carnatic music instruments, uh, namely the veena, the violin, the flute, uh, and also Carnatic vocal music. In the segments of the Mertangis, you will also be exposed uh, to the upper pack of audience, the supportive percussive instruments to the Mertangam, uh, such as the clay pot, otherwise known as the gutam, the tambourine, single uh, barrel uh, tambourine called the ganjira, uh, the jew harp or the mouth harp, uh, popularly known as uh, the morsing, and also the vocal percussions, which is known as the kunakol. For this series, uh, as the name suggests, We'll firstly focus on the instrument of Mrdanga, uh, which is the instrument that I'm trained with. So you will be looking at um, the different components of Mrdanga, uh, Mrdanga lineages, the Mrdanga journey. Uh, we have several Mrdangists in the country who have got different teachers. They come from different teachers. So we will uh, be showing them and uh, and for them to explain their own music journey and for them to also int introduce their own drums. Uh, alongside of the Mradangam, there are supportive percussion instruments uh, that are known as the Upa Paka Vadyams to the Raja Vadyam, which is the Mradangam. So uh, instruments like the Gatam, Ganjira, Morsing and Kunakol will be also uh, showcased uh, amongst these Mrdangis. So once we finish this, uh, this lot of Mrdangam uh, series in this segment, we will move on to different instruments. Uh, for example, like the veena, the violin, the flute, and also Carnatic vocal music. I started learning Mrdangam um, in 1986 at uh, Malaysia's premier institution of learning, uh, Temple of Fine Arts, Brickfields, Kuala Lumpur. Uh, my guru's name is Suresh Ramachandran, Dr. Suresh Ramachandran. Uh, I was uh, under his tutelage for five years and I completed my Arangetram, which is the debut performance uh, in 1992. Um, since then, I have uh, performed in different scapes, uh, obviously being trained in Carnatic music that's the first sphere that I, I got involved in. Uh, I've also been involved in fusion music with Malaysian bands like Prana and Akasha, uh, whereby we have also produced albums and we have toured intensively across the world. Um, I have also engaged in cross-cultural performances with other Malaysian groups like uh, the Gamelan group, 
uh, like the Dikir Bharat group, and uh, even within Southeast Asia. As a Mrdengis, your journey will also take you through, uh, predominantly in Malaysia, will take you through into Bharatanatyam playing. Bharatanatyam being uh, the Indian classical traditional dance uh, of South India, which is heavily practiced in Malaysia. And uh, in uh, we have at least 30 to 40 different teachers um, across nationwide. Uh, I, actually, there could be more. And uh, every one of them do performances and, and we travel quite extensively playing for these art forms. Uh, I was opportune to play for some really great names uh, around the world. And uh, also now coming back to Malaysia, um, this is made a possibility. In Bratangam learning, before you learn how to play, you will learn how to say. So whatever that you need to play, you will need to know how to say first. So these things are known as solkatus. Sol in Tamil means words, and katu means is, is to tie. So it's just tying of words together within a rhythmic cycle. So this sol katus in an art form or in performance is known as kunakol. So kunakol is basically the vocalization of all the sounds that the Mratanga makes. And um, it is also made colorful <clears throat> when you talk about dance. In Mratangam, you have the four basic sounds, which is ta, ti, dom, nam. And you, you would hear the, f the difference between the left and the right parts of the Mratangam when this is said. And in, uh, in the lessons that you learn, you learn words like kita taka, taka tari. If you take it into the dance scape, you have, they make it a little bit more colorful with the jenu, dingu, dingu. They have different ways of saying it to make it a little bit more colorful. In the other episodes of uh, the Malaysian Bratangam Network series, you would be exposed to the Gatam, the Ganjira, the Morsing. I will attempt to just share with you uh, just a little bit of a composition of what a kunakol would sound like. It's in the time cycle of eight. Ta dim. Tum. <laughs>